Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between R. Adams and Bill Wall. This game was played in North Carolina in 1976. Adams had white pieces and he started with e4. Bill Wall played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, Spanish opening, a6, bishop to a4, d6, Adams castled kingside, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, h3, black to move. How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Bishop takes knight, bishop to h5. If bishop takes knight, then perhaps bishop takes knight on c6 check and after pawn takes, queen takes, seems good for white. What else? If, well, perhaps bishop to h5 is possible, do you agree? This is not what Bill Wall played. He played h5 defending the bishop bishop takes knight on c6 check pawn takes bishop should white take the bishop or not would you adams did pawn takes pawn attacking the knight Adams captured the bishop and now he started to think and didn't like anything. <laughs> he played knight takes on e5. Better was rook to e1 and after pawn takes queen takes pawn and after queen to h4 g3 check king to f1. Yes, white king is uncomfortable, but white will have a chance. In the game we have a knight takes on e5, in a panic mode, hoping for discontinuation. Pawn takes knight, queen takes on g4. But Bill Wall didn't capture the knight. He played a better move. What is a better move? Black played the move and white resigned. Queen to h4, white resigned. If f4, making the room for the king to escape, then g3 and after rook to e1, check. And let's go back to this critical position of the game. Adams learned the hard way from his own experience that it is a bad idea to capture that bishop. But we are lucky. We learn from his mistake. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.